And welcome everyone to Braden River High School for tonight's girls volleyball game between Braden River and Manatee. It's senior night here at Braden River and the seniors are now being recognized. This is Maddie Dodson who's uh, just been recognized here on senior night with her uh, loved ones out on the court. And we're going to go ahead and send it down so you can hear the public address announcer uh, for the rest of senior night here at Braden River. Crosby, Crombie, excuse me, Karis Crombie being recognized here on senior night at Braden River High School. <laughs> senior night's always a, a special night for every high school athlete. The last home game being recognized. Emma Apgar, senior libero, number, number four. Six, Liana Nesser. Number eight, Courtney Kalchek. 
one and RJ Freeman putting built different on the scoreboard. After high school graduation, Courtney plans to attend the University of Central Oklahoma and become a teacher. She would like to thank her parents for supporting her emotionally and financially, and all of her previous coaches, including Coach Matt, Coach Lansky, and Coach Jessica, for helping her become the person and athlete she is. She also wants to thank her teammates for always being helpful and encouraging her tough times. Courtney Kalchuk on senior night. Senior setter. Number 11, Riley Buckner is escorted by her parents, Chuck and Wendy Buckner. She has played ball for four years and three years. That's Riley Buckner, number 11. So senior night here at Braden River High School. The seven seniors for the Pirates, Maddie Dodson, Karis, Crombie, Emma Apgar, Leanna Nesser, Courtney Kalchek, Riley Buckner, and Hannah Ferguson are the seven seniors playing their final home game here at Braden River High School. And so we've got an interesting game here tonight. Braden River coming into this game with an 11 and six record. And I am now joined by Braden River's junior varsity coach, Brianna Schweitzer. Hi. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So you guys are coming into this game 11 and six. Um, and, and speaking with uh, Coach McElhinney, he was saying how your schedule's been really tough. He feels like you guys have been in pretty much every game this year. Really only a couple he feels like that. Really were, there's only about two games where he feels like that they weren't winnable. But every other game he feels like you guys were, were in the game. So what can you tell me about, uh, about this year's team? Uh, what do they bring to the table? What are some of the things that we should look out for? 
Um, well, over the past couple of years, like a lot of these girls have been on the same club team, and overall, they're just very compatible, very loving, very caring players overall, and they they just they absorb everything you tell them. They try their best, and even if they win or lose, like they're always going to win or lose together. That sounds great. And so on the other side, Manatee coming into this game seven and thirteen, they've. Um, They've hit some bumps in the road as of late. However, I will say that one thing that they may have a little advantage is, I know that, that you guys have been off for quite a while. The, the hurricane hit, so there were some, you know, it's been almost, I think, over two weeks since they've had a game. Manatee came, in, came off a, a weekend tournament in Orlando. So do, do you feel like that there's any going to be any rust that, that you guys are going to have to shake off tonight? Um, maybe a little bit, but I don't really think that just a couple weeks off is going to really hurt the team. I mean, they work well together, and whatever they, if they do hit any bumps in the road, they're going to work through it. So. so what can you tell me about these seven seniors that we just saw out there tonight, if you want to go through and, and talk about each one? Well, um, when I played club, I, I played a lot with Maddie and Emma and Liana and uh, Hannah Ferguson, but... Um, Courtney came a couple years ago. She, she, as soon as she came, she was like a big asset to this team. She was awesome. She creates so much energy. Um, Karis, she's just so funny. She, she surprises herself, and that's what makes it so cool because she's like, oh, I just had a ball. But we love Karis. She's just so fun, and she just laughs at everything. Um, but Buck, like, she's been around, and she's worked so hard, and she, I think she will continue to work hard in whatever she does. And so you also have some very talented underclassmen on this on this team as well. Uh, Brenna Sands w was a player that uh, Coach McElhinney mentioned specifically, as well as your setter, uh, Mary Allison McGuire, and, and some of the other, other other underclassmen, Riley Hinkle, Ariana Spainhauer. What can you tell me about some of the other talent that is on this team? Um, we've got a really deep bench. Like our our outsides, they they can pretty much do whatever with the ball if they really wanted to. Our setting, it's its amazing. We work hard, like we really train good hands, good footwork. Um, yeah, there might be a couple doubles here and there, but that's normal. Um, but like Riley, she's a great right side. I love playing against her, mostly because I don't know where the ball's going, because I don't think she knows where the ball's going half the time. She just hits it and it, it's a good kill. But um, Ariana and Brenna, they, they are great. They hit as hard as they can every time, just trying to get hands on the ball, trying to get stuffs, just whatever they're trying to do to get some points for the team. And so we know how uh, successful Braden River was last year, having made it um, to the final eight. And so carrying over into this year, you're, you're going down from to, to 5A now. And so as you look ahead to the playoffs, what do you think is the ceiling for this team? Um, I don't really know. I, I don't. I don't want to give them a ceiling because I feel like they can reach for the skies. Like th there's no point in trying to limit their limit what they can do because they they surprise me every time they get on the court. So. All right. So the teams are going to continue to warm up, and I'm going to uh, send it back to the guys in the truck. Hey guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and and uh, take a break here while the girls continue to warm up. We'll bring it back in just a few. So. And you are watching high school volleyball on Manatee Schools Television. Before coming to Manatee College, I was definitely struggling with finding a purpose in life. But after going through the PCT program, I definitely discovered that I have a passion for patient care. Coming into the healthcare field, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it, but everyone was very helpful. Every skill they taught me was able to be transferred over into the workforce. Turns out that the field that I'm in is in super high demand, and I actually got a job while I was still in the program during my clinicals. I'd encourage anyone who is looking for a career change to definitely start at MTC. It's definitely made a huge difference. When I drop my kids off and I see that they're on time and they've been delivered safely, it gives me a lot of personal satisfaction to have done this for the community. I would encourage anybody who is like me, retired, to look into this and consider because it really has worked for me. Start a great future with the School District of Manatee County. Apply now at manateeschools.net slash careers. So I was kind of like in that mode where you're like, do I want to go to four-year, do I want to go to trade college, what do I want to do? I knew I wanted to do something with my hands. 
I kind of stumbled across the program at MTC, Electrical and Instrumentation. When I first went in there, I thought we were just going to be learning wiring, how to hardwire, how to build control panels. We did a whole scope of control programming as well. After graduating, I had a job within a week. If I had not gone to MTC, if I had not attended the Electrical and Instrumentation program, <laughs> I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be in this trade. Start a great future with the School District of Manatee County. Apply now at manateeschools.net slash careers.
And welcome back to Braden River High School. And here are the introductions for tonight's game. We'll go ahead and send it down to the public address announcer as we stand for the national anthem. They're announcing the starting lineups. Number one, Samantha Roca. Samantha Roca being introduced. Number three, Clark. Number three, Lily Rodriguez. Number four, Olivia Isaac. Number five, Abby Dunstan. Number six, Anastasia Scalera. Number seven, Ashlyn McLennan. Number eight, Fiona McCarthy. Number nine, Ava Bow. Number 10, Izzy French. Number 11, Alana Pearson. Number 12, Melissa Sue. Number 13, Natalie Saluki. And number 14, Bailey Cat. And now for your great river pirates. Number one, junior outside hitter, the same.
There's our lineups for tonight as both teams greet each other at the net. And so, as we've said, Braden River coming into this game with a record of 11 and 6. And on the other side, Manatee, uh, 7 and 13 on the year. Coming off a weekend tournament in Orlando where they went 1 and 3. And so Coach McElhinney's got his team playing well down the stretch. Be interesting to see how Manatee plays tonight. They've struggled of late. They do have some talent, very young, as we've said all year. So Braden River will begin serving. This is number nine, Riley Hinkle. Excuse me, number eight. <laughs> See, this is why you're here. Courtney Kowchek is serving to begin the game. Tips it over. And that's a point for Hannah Ferguson. Strikes first for the Pirates. One nothing. Calcheck again. side this time and we have double nope we have a uh, net violation I believe they tried to call a back row attack but she's front row okay so it's a replay <laughs> so it's still one nothing as Calcheck serves it up by number eight, Kalchek. Two nothing is our score. Kalchek, one of the seven seniors on this Pirate roster. To the middle, number three, Karis Crombie with the kill. And it's 3 nothing. Cal check. To the middle, Clark off the block and good. Abby Clark gives Manatee their first point of the game. So to start off for the Hurricanes, number 14, Catlett to serve. Double contact, I believe, is the call. Yes. So 3-2 now. There's Catlett. Hinkle, good. Riley Hinkle. And we've got Sands checking in. as number 15, Ferguson, is back to serve.
Catlett over to Scovetta, and that's going to be a point for the Hurricanes as Bailey Catlett sends it over to the freshman Anastasia Scovetta. 4-3 is our score. Tolucci's serve goes out, so that will make it 5-3. As we've got a couple substitutions, number two, Maddie Dodson, and number 17, Erica Freeman are in, as Dodson will go back to serve. And she has to go a long way and can't reach it is Ava Ball on that attempt. So it's six to three. Pirates add to their lead. Dotson. Oh, and trouble on that serve. The libero Isaac, little trouble with that one. Seven three now. Dodson once again serving it. Back set to Scovita this time, and that's good. Another kill for Scovita, 7-4. Scovita, young player, very versatile, can play either pin. She also plays setter. Abby Clark now serving. to the middle, Sands sent right back over as play continues. Now Sands will try it again. Grinna Sands with a beautiful kill. Substitution, Ness, uh, Liana Nesser coming in. Senior defensive specialist. Just does clear that net and that's good for an ace for Nesser. Nine to four is our score. That's gonna go out, that attempt by Ava Ball. And so it's 10-4. Nesser once again. Boy, really just sneaking that serve over the net, giving Manatee some trouble. Quick set to the middle, and it's good for number 17, Erica Freeman. And looks like we've got a timeout. So 11-4 is our score. And so uh, what are your thoughts so far here early on? Um, I think they, they're really showing up. They're not trying to just get the ball in play. They're starting to play more aggressive, which is what you want to see. And Manatee, I mean, they're, they're moving their feet. They're trying to get to it, but we're nervous. Just, we have very aggressive serves. Last couple serves by Nesser um, kind of caught Manatee off guard, just uh, barely sneaking it over that net, and one was good for an ace. So are very direct and they, they tend to drop at the last second which gives passers a very hard time. Alright so coming out of the timeout it will be Nesser once again to serve leading 11 to 4 and that time it hits the tape so make it 11 to 5 as Scovita goes back to serve. Looks like Clark has checked out and Rodriguez is now in at middle for the Hurricanes. Oh, snuck that one over, handled well. And a free ball opportunity for the Pirates. Over to Sands, blocked over, and they're saying that she was in the net. They're, nope. They're four calls, four Thank touches, you. sorry. Got it, so it's 11 to five now.
Oh, off the fingertips, and so that'll go down as an ace for Scovita, making it 11 to seven. And a point for the Hurricanes, they're gonna call um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Scovita. From the back row, that is Ball and Ava Ball with the kill, making it 11 9 now. dug up there in the middle as Rodriguez gets it over his play continues good play back and forth here's Fiona McCarthy that goes out so 12-9 is our score as number 12 Ariana Spainhauer checks in outstanding outside hitter as Brenna Sands will serve Scovita had trouble with that set, so the double contact makes it 13 to nine. And Sands is ready to serve again. Gonna have to send over a free ball here for the Pirates. Calcheck over to number 12. Spainhauer, play continues off the block. And there's another kill for Freeman there in the middle to make it 14 to nine. Brenna Sands serving again. Tipped over, nicely done by number 12, Ariana Spainhauer. When you have someone like Spainhauer who really hits with a lot of power, that tip will really throw the other team. Yeah, they both outsides, it's so funny to watch. They'll approach so hard and then they'll just tip it right over and there everybody's expecting to get a killer hit. And that serve goes out, that attempt was from number 11, Riley Buckner. You know, we've talked, uh, Braden River is very deep. You guys play a lot of players. Yes. Here's Ava Ball serving, nice low serve. From the back row, that attempt goes into the net. So it's 15 to 10. Ava Ball once again. Here comes the middle again, and once again, Erica Freeman with a very nice kill there in the middle. She's gotten involved quite a bit here in this first set. And that's what you want. You want to always involve the middle, get them engaged just right off the bat so that they seem like a, a threat, quote unquote. So the middles know that, hey, we got to watch out for this person. Emma Apgar serving now, senior libero. Dunstan still alive. Blocked. I believe, oh, is it, no, I heard a whistle. So they're saying it hit the floor. That is the call by the up ref. I don't believe Coach McElhinney agrees. I think she got a touch on it. I don't think it hit the ground. If, if, she, if it did, it was pretty close then. Nonetheless, it is a point for the Hurricanes. So it's 16 to 12 as Isaac serves. And they're gonna call that one out. So the point for the Hurricanes make, makes it 
Isaac once again. Oh, a little trouble with that serve. 17-13. Another substitution, number nine, Riley Hinkle comes back in. Here's Kalchek once again to serve, and that's gonna go out, so 17-14 is our score. Cadillac comes back in, and she will go back to serve. Excellent junior setter for the Hurricanes. And that attempt by Riley Hinkle goes into the net, so it's 17-15. Catlett. Punched over, and that's good by number 12, Ariana Spainhauer. Just kind of punched that one over there and found an open spot in the middle. As Sands comes back in, as well as Hannah Ferguson, and Ferguson will go back to serve now for the Pirates, leading 18 to 15. Catlett quick set to Clark as Braden River sends it back over. And now Dunstan, and we've got a point for Manatee. So it's 18-16. Pirates still lead as Natalie Tolucci is going to serve for Manatee. Back to number nine, Riley Hinkle from the right side. Gets the kill. As Maddie Dodson checks in to serve. Maddie, one of the seven seniors who were recognized before the game here on senior night. Ball is blocked and it falls, a point. Wasn't sure who got that block there for the Looks Pirates. Like Erica. Erica Fr uh, Freeman, the junior middle. And looks like we've got another timeout. So, Manatee's been kind of hanging around the set, but uh, Braden River's been able to kind of fend them off. So, again, what are your thoughts as we head uh, here towards the end of the first set? Um, I just I think that they need to limit their errors, miss serves, like hitting down into the block, hitting down into the, middle, the end of the net, and it's I mean that the end of the, the day, like those points, they they do matter, and a team like Manatee, they will take those points and they will get some more because they are young, they are very athletic, and they will just get digs. I'd like to thank you for joining us tonight for. Uh, special Monday night volleyball game. We've got another volleyball game coming up later this week where we have the Palmetto Tigers hosting Parish Community, our first time looking at the Bulls on Thursday. Maddie Dotson serving. Over to Ball, Ball's blocked but it goes out and that's a point for the Hurricanes. 2017 as Abby Clark goes back to serve. Sands is blocked, still alive, and punched over nicely by Scovita. Ferguson tips it, and still alive, and they're gonna call double contact on the Hurricanes. They did a, did a good job to keep the ball in play, but they get caught for the double, so it's 21-17, as here is Nesser back to serve for the Pirates. Over to Sands, but they're gonna call a double before that kill, so the point will go to Manatee, 21-18. And so here's 
Anastasia Scovita, the freshman, with a very low serve, hard serve. Sands with the kill to make it 22-18. And looks like Sands is going to check out. And number 11, Riley Buckner will come in to serve. Buckner, the senior defensive specialist. Trouble there for Tolucci, but it's handled and sent over. Here comes the middle again. Saw that one coming. Erica Freeman. That's, I believe, her fourth kill of this set. And they've all been very impressive. So 23-18 as Buckner goes back. And that's going to float out, so Manatee makes it 23-19 uh, as Ava Ball will serve. Oh, a little trouble there, but still sent over. Scovita back sets it to McCartney, still alive. Here's Spainhauer. Rodriguez taps that one out, so that'll make it set point for the Pirates, 24-19. So this is Apgar trying to close it out. Rodriguez with the kill there in the middle for the Hurricanes to stay alive, 24-20. This will be Olivia Isaac to serve. Spainhauer and Ariana Spainhauer puts it away to give the first set to the Pirates, 25 to 20. So with that, we will take a break. You are watching High School Volleyball on Manatee Schools Television. Before coming to Manny Technical College, I was definitely struggling with finding a purpose in life. But after going through the PCT program, I definitely discovered that I have a passion for patient care. Coming into the healthcare field, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it, but everyone was very helpful. Every skill they taught me was able to be transferred over into the workforce. Turns out that the field that I'm in is in super high demand, and I actually got a job while I was still in the program during the chemicals. I'd encourage anyone who is looking for a career change to definitely start at MPC. It's definitely made a huge difference. When I drop my kids off and I see that they're on time and they've been delivered safely, it gives me a lot of personal satisfaction to have done this for the community. I would encourage anybody who is like me, retired, to look into this and consider because it really has worked for me. Start a great future with the School District of Manatee County. Apply now at manateeschools.net slash careers. So I was kind of like in that mode where you're like, do I want to go to four-year, do I want to go to trade college, what do I want to do? I knew I wanted to do something with my hands. I kind of stumbled across the program at MTC, Electrical and Instrumentation. When I first went in there, I thought we were just going to be learning wiring, how to hardwire, how to build control panels. We did a whole scope of control programming as well. After graduating, I had a job within a week. If I had not gone to MTC, if I had not attended the electrical and instrumentation program, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be in this trade. She's good. And welcome back to Braden River High School where the Braden River Pirates have just won the first set of this game, 25 to 20 against the Manatee Hurricanes. We saw a lot of good play at the net, particularly by Erica Freeman there in uh, that first set. And so as you were saying, how important is it to get 
that middle established for the Pirates. Yeah, so getting the middle established is key to winning games and to be able to run a good offense because when you're running free ball plays, mostly the middle calls that free ball play and they have to go. If they don't go, then nobody else goes. But um, I think on the right side, Riley Hinkle did a great job. Uh, I do think that they need to limit their errors and maybe not give them so many points, but I'm, I think the Hurricanes are doing great too. They're okay. working hard. And what, uh, what I was about to say also is if you're Manatee, you play pretty well in that first set, so what do you think they need to do to try to uh, possibly pull off uh, a better performance here in the second set? Defensively, I think that they they need to be more confident. Like they, I think they're kind of hesitating on digs. They're just waiting for the ball to come to them, but they got to go at it. They got to be aggressive. They got to want it. Bailey Catlett starts things off serving for the Hurricanes, and that uh, second hit goes into the net. So that'll be a point for Manatee, one nothing. Catlett serving again. From the back row, Sands is blocked. Two nothing, Manatee. Abby Clark got that block for the Hurricanes as Catlett serves again. That serve hits the net, so it's 2-1 as number eight, Kalchek goes back to serve. Clark. Gets that point for Manatee. 3-1 is the score. As Natalie Tolucci comes in to serve. Tolucci's serve goes out, so it's 3-2. Here's Spainhauer back to serve. Oh, trouble for Isaac, but they do get it over. Free ball back to number nine, Riley Hinkle. And that's a point for Braden River. They tie it up three to three. And that serve doesn't quite make it for Spainhauer, so Manatee retakes the lead four to three. Here's Abby Clark, the sophomore middle to serve. Just to sneak that one over and that is a little trouble for... A little miscommunication. <laughs> so five three is our score. Again, just sneaks it over, hit the tape and rolled over. But Braden River gets it over as play continues. Snuck that second hit, nicely done by number eight, Kalchek. Ferguson, I'm, excuse me, Freeman is checking in for Braden River. And here is the Libero Apgar to serve. Ball can't get that one down, so we're tied up now, five to five. Apgar, once again. Oh, and some miscommunication for Manatee there. Makes, makes it six five, Braden River takes the lead. Here is Apgar once again. Oh, and it goes over for an ace. Found that open spot, just did clear the net. 7-5 now.
Ball will try it again. Well played there. And then from the back row, and then back to Scovetta, she hits it into the net. So it's eight to five, Braden River leads. Apgar. Tolucci has to come in from the back row to send over a free ball and Ferguson, excuse me, Freeman with the tip. No, Erica, er, she, every time she tips that ball right there, nine times out of 10, she's gonna get a kill. She can just read the defensive specialist uh, so well. Scovita sends that over. And now coming in from the back row, number 12, Spainhauer can't get it over, so that'll make it nine to six. Braden River continues to lead as Scovita is back to serve. Oh, and, and uh, that's a block for, I believe, number six, Fiona, or excuse me, number eight, Fiona McCarthy got that block. Deep serve, too deep. So, 10-7. They're such a young team, and give them a year and they will be phenomenal, especially when they can control their serves and their offense. And even just this, this year, I've seen Manatee play several times, and they're, they're improving those freshmen. They, they're not playing like freshmen like they had been. Which is what you want to see, especially towards the end of the season. You want to see their growth and development. Good rally here. Ball off the block. And now this will be Sands. She puts it down. Oh, and they call it out. Just out. So 10-8. Tried to hit that line and just went wide. <laughs> Ava Ball serves. Freeman was blocked that time. Here's McCarthy. McCarthy. And they're actually going to call a net violation here. So 11-8 is our score as Sands goes back to serve. Rodriguez is blocked and tipped over by Spainhauer. If there's anything, when you're with this team, you can't help but laugh. They're so funny. <laughs> Sands sends that one over. Oh, a tough play there for Dunstan. Not much she could do with that set. So it's 13 to eight. And I believe, yes, it's a timeout called by Manatee head coach Tony Cothran, longtime head coach for the Hurricanes. He's got a young team, as we've said, all night and all season. Uh, but they are going to improve. Meanwhile, Braden River, how do you feel like uh, they're playing here in the second set? I think they're slowly they're slowly trying to get into their groove. They'll have their ups and downs, but um, I think we kind of let up a little bit in the middle. I don't think Erica is being as active as she was in the last set, but um, defensively, I think we're digging everything and we're doing a lot better defensively. And we even had a couple blocks, so that's always a bonus. So coming out of the timeout, Braden River will serve, leading 13 to eight. Brenna Sands, excellent junior outside hitter. That one sails out, so it's 13 to nine. A 
And so Olivia Isaac will serve for the Hurricanes, trailing 13-9. And a nice kill there by number 12, Arianna Spainhauer. Number two, Dodson checking in. She'll go back to serve. Spainhauer again and just does hit that line. So back-to-back -back kills for Spainhauer. That was a great pass by Dunstan too. Just couldn't put it away. 15-9 is our score. Maddie Dodson serving again. That one goes out, so make it 15-10. Looks like Catlett's gonna come back in to serve this one as Fiona McCarthy takes a break. Back to Scovita, that's gonna go out, so make it 16 to 10. And there's an ace for number eight, Kalchek, to make it 17 to 10, and a timeout. All right, so the Pirates leading 17 to 10 here in the second set. They won the first set 25 to 20. And so looking ahead now for Braden River, what does the rest of the schedule look like for uh, the Pirates? I know uh, you guys play Lakewood Ranch, I believe, later this week. Yeah, so we play Bradenton Christian tomorrow. Great team. We love competing with them. Um, and then we go on to playing Lakewood on Wednesday and then playoffs. I'm super stoked. The girls are stoked. Like, we can't, re we can't wait. We're, we're ready to kick some butt in, t in districts. It does seem like, uh, I th believe this is the third time you guys are going to be playing Bradenton Christian. That's a, that's a really talented team over there. Yeah. Um, we played them earlier in the season, and then we played them in a tournament, and then this is our final time playing them this year. And then Lakewood Ranch, uh, another Manatee County team, a team we've seen here on Manatee Schools Television. Um, got some real talent on the outside, so should be a good matchup there as that serve goes out for number eight, Kalchek. 17-11 as Tolucci will serve. The middle, number three, Karis Crombie getting in there and getting a kill. Nice job by her to make it 18-11. And again, we're seeing the depth of Braden River. Ferguson serving. Off the block and good for number nine, Riley Hinkle. Hannah Ferguson serving again, leading 19-11. Trouble there, not much that Catlett could do with that one. It's 20 to 11. Here comes number five, Mary Allison McGuire, checking in. Sands with the kill. And that was set up by McGuire. Coming in and getting a, an assist. Ferguson serving. Yeah. 
That was blocked by Clark, nicely done there. But the follow up by number nine, Riley Hinkle to make it 22 to 11. Looks like Elena Pearson's gonna come in. First time seeing Elena tonight for the Hurricanes. Ferguson. Oh, an overpass. Let's see what they can do with it. Blocked by Clark again. She's had quite a few. And then on that overpass, Clark scores. 22-12. I believe Clark's had three, maybe four blocks tonight. Loader handled by the Pirates. And what do we have? A point for Manatee for double contact. So 22-13 is the score. Sands finds the line and it's called out actually. So they say it didn't quite hit the line there. So 22-14 is the score. Clark sneaks that one over. And that goes into the net for Hinkle. So make it 22-15. One thing that I think Braden River will struggle with is closing out sets. We always like to let the team linger, let them, like, give them a little bit of hope, I guess is the word for it, but we got to find a way to just close out sets. Scovita setting up Rodriguez, nicely handled by number five. And McGuire, and there's a kill for Sands. Oh, and uh, looks like the official is calling it a point for Manatee. I'm not sure what the call was, but Coach McElhinney does not like it. So the hurricane serving again, Clark. Sands puts that one down. Very nice kill by Brenna Sands. And here comes Buckner and Looks like Freeman checking in for Braden River. Twenty-three sixteen is our score. Buckner back to serve. Just does get that one over. Overpass and the kill for Freeman. Uh <laughs> They're very dramatic. <laughs> So set point now for the Pirates. Oh, off the fingertips and that's gonna do it for the second set. The Braden River Pirates win 25-16 and they will look to close it out in set number three coming up next. You're watching High School Volleyball on Manatee Schools Television. Before coming to Manny Technical College, I was definitely struggling with finding a purpose in life. But after going through the PCT program, I definitely discovered that I have a passion for patient care. Coming into the healthcare field, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it, but everyone was very helpful. Every skill they taught me was able to be transferred over into the workforce. Turns out that the field that I'm in is in super high demand, and I actually got a job while I was still in the program during my clinicals. I'd encourage anyone who is looking for a career change to definitely start at MTC. It's definitely made a huge difference. When I drop my kids off and I see that they're on time, and they've been delivered safely, it gives me a lot of personal satisfaction to have done this for the community. I would encourage anybody 
who is like me, retired, to look into this and consider because it really has worked for me. Start a great future with the School District of Manatee County. Apply now at manateeschools.net slash careers. So I was kind of like in that mode where you're like, do I want to go to four-year, do I want to go to trade college, what do I want to do? I knew I wanted to do something with my hands. I kind of stumbled across the program at MTC, Electrical and Instrumentation. When I first went in there, I thought we were just going to be learning wiring, how to hardwire, how to build control panels. We did a whole scope of control programming as well. After graduating, I had a job within a week. If I had not gone to MTC, if I had not attended the electrical and instrumentation program, I can tell you right now, I wouldn't be in this trade. And welcome back to Braden River High School for set number three between the Pirates and the Manatee Hurricanes. We've seen Braden River take the first two sets. They won set one, 25 to 20, and they just won the second set, 25-16. And Brianna, your thoughts heading here into the third set? I mean, you're up to two sets to none. What are, you, what are some of the goals here? I mean, are you looking to get some more players in? You're just looking to close it out quickly? What are your thoughts? Well, I, I would like to see some of the people that more ride the bench throughout the season. I would love to see them and get them playing time because they need that. I mean, especially for next year um, after the seven seniors leave. Holy cow. Um, but I think that we just need to find a way to – push through to finish this game. And so Courtney Kowchek will start things off for the Pirates. Still alive, nice dig by Isaac there. Oh, in trouble there, and a point for Manatee. So the Hurricanes lead one nothing as Catlett will serve. Sands from the back row, and that's called out. So it's two nothing. Catlett shifting over to the left side for the serve. And there's a kill for number nine, Riley Hinkle, to make it two to one. Ariana, Ariana Spainhauer now to serve. Junior outside hitter. Scovita is blocked. I believe that was number nine. They looked like both. So they closed the block and sent that one back to make it two to two. Spainhauer serving again. Double contact is the call here. So three to two, Braden River takes the lead. Vita spun that one over. Oh, an overpass, and Clark just pushes it over. And a nice play there to get the point for Braden River. I didn't catch who tipped that over. It was, um, looked like Courtney. Number eight, Courtney Kalchek as Spainhauer serves again. Scovita blocked, but, oh, wow. Nice. 
Wow. That was uh, that was a good dig. Brenna Sands, and it was dug on the other side by, I believe, Isaac. Ava. Ava Bow. Number nine. Sorry. <laughs> Ava Ball, yeah. And that serve goes out, so it's five to three. As Tolucci will check in to serve. Sands, and they're actually going to call double contact to make it 5 4. And that goes out, so we're tied now 5 to 5. Sands just tips it. Nice dig by Tolucci. Blocked, still alive. And Manatee can't get it over. So it's six to five. I called the dig uh, for Tolucci. It was actually uh, Catlett who had that dig earlier for Manatee. Here's Apgar serving. Scovita kept in play and the three ball for the Hurricanes. And Clark has trouble with that one, so it's eight to five. Excuse me, seven five is our score. Apgard once again, that goes out, so 7-6. Abby Clark serving. And that's good from the back row, Spainhauer. Gets it to fall, so looks like we've got number six, Liana Nesser serving. I think she's been a great asset serving and defensively tonight. Um, there's and there ace. you go. <laughs> As you point out, she gets an ace. Nine six, our serve, our score, excuse me. Looks like we've got Dunstan checking in for Manatee. And this is Nestor serving. Freeman again there in the middle to put it away. When you capitalize on those free balls, it just creates energy, it creates just a whole bunch of things. And I, I think Erica's very, very good at creating the energy, getting a great kill, but she's also very smart about where she puts the ball. Nesser, does some trouble with that receive, but she does get it over. And now another free ball opportunity. And that will go down again for Freeman. Too many free balls for Manatee tonight, I think. Yeah, Braden River is very, very good at capitalizing on free balls when we want to, I guess. Is <laughs> <laughs> As Nasser gets another ace to make it 12 to 6. Delucci coming back in. She's okay, looks like uh, Ava Ball. 
Had to go a long way for that hit. It was set up in a really awkward position, but she's fine. She's laughing. She'll be all right. Yep. <laughs> Nesser. Oh, and another ace for Nesser. Boy, she's getting it done back there. 14-6 and a timeout. Seen Nestor come in and in this series of serves, I think she's had three aces. So helping to spark Braden River to this 14 to six lead here yeah. in the third set. She, she just creates energy. She, she brings all she has every day in practice and in games and it shows. Nestor again. This time floats it over. Freeman, oh, and a nice dig there. This time from the back row, and it's still in play. Great Can hustle. they get it over? Great hustle there by the defense for Manatee. Back to Freeman, still alive, and now Freeman is blocked. Wow, what a rally here. And so a rare free ball opportunity for the Hurricanes. Freeman tips it, still alive. Now Scovita will score for Manatee. Great point. Great play on both sides. Here is Anastasia Scovita. One of several freshmen on this hurricane roster. And that is gonna go into the net. So 15-7 is our score. Diana. Hannah Ferguson coming back in. She'll serve it up for the Pirates. Spainhauer with the kill. Ferguson once again, one of the seven seniors here on senior night. Elena Pearson hits that one out, so it's 17-7. Braden River trying to close this out, leading two sets to none. We've got number five, Mary Allison McGuire checking in. That serve goes out, 17-8. Abby Dunstan checking in for Manatee as Ava Ball will go back to serve. Another good rally here. Freeman. Erica Freeman having a big night tonight for Braden River. Eighteen to eight is our score, and now this will be Riley Buckner, senior defensive specialist, back to serve. Pearson is blocked by number 12, Spainhauer. They've been working a lot on blocking in, in practice, and it's, it's really showing. Putting the ball in their inside hand, pressing back into the court. Free ball opportunity for Braden River. 
Second hit, well played by Scovita. Spainhauer is blocked this time. I believe that was Rodriguez who got that block for Manatee. 19-9 is our score. As Olivia Isaac is back to serve. Just uh, sneak that one over. Wow. Oh, on the wrong side of the antenna there, so 19-10 is our score. Oh, a little trouble there, but they get it over. Clark, still alive and looks like center line violation there, so 19-11 is our score. Isaac served it. And Spainhauer, nice dig by Ball. She's done good work back there, but it's a point for Manatee. Ava Ball has been all over the place. Here comes number 14, Bailey Hinkle, checking in for Braden River. McGuire serving. And Clark was in the net, I believe. Yes, that's, uh, that's the point for Braden River, 21-11. McGuire, that's an ace, 22-11. And we've got our first look here at Jalea Elder, mm -hmm. sophomore for Braden River getting in. Pearson sends that one out, so it's 23-11. And we're gonna have number eight, Calchek coming in to serve, leading 23-11. Hits the net, 23-12. What I find impressive about Manatee is even when they do make mistakes, like they, they find a way to correct it and they, they grow from every mistake. They're just watching them tonight, it's, it's incredible. And a lot of that comes from coaching. I mean, Tony cothran has been doing this for a long time and you know he's inherited a very young team, so it's tough. But as I've, I've said, I, I've, I've seen Manatee a lot of their freshmen really grow up uh, throughout the course of this season. As Braden River has match point here, Jalea Elder trying to close it out. Oh, and that will do it. So Braden River on senior night defeats Manatee. Three sets to none. They won the first game 25 25 to 20, they took the second one 25-16, and they just wrapped it up here 25 to 12 here in the sec in the third set. So, Brianna, what are your thoughts uh, overall tonight for Braden River? I think I think they showed up very. I think they showed up and they played for themselves, but also for their seniors. I mean, I I know a hard senior night is, but. It's to show your seniors that how much you love them and how goofy they are. <laughs> I mean, they're doing the worm on the on the court, but um, they they just they showed up and they had fun. Absolutely, and it is. I mean, this is the first time seeing Braden River for me, and what a what a great group of, of players you guys have. Just so delightful. So I can I can really see why you guys are fond of this team. And so on the other side, Manatee, they dropped to 7-14. and 14. And so 
this is your first time seeing Manatee. What are your thoughts as far as how they've done, and what do you think they can do to try to get back on the right track? Um, I, I think that because they are just a very young team, I think they, they kind of lack a little bit of discipline. So staying disciplined on defense, reading, just – Overall, like just that, that, but they have talent. They've got athleticism, and and Cawthorn will do a great job of forming and getting them a lot better. Absolutely. So that'll do it for us here at Braden River High School. Uh, congratulations to Braden River. The Pirates win on senior night. They send out their senior class out on uh, out on a strong note. So for everyone here, for Matt Messenger, for Adam McCune back in the truck. And thank you so much, Brianna Schweitzer, for coming out and doing color commentary with us. You did a great job and really, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Manatee Schools Television.